unite the African wherever they find themselves. Thank you. Nana for, uh, for acceptance uh, message. All right, so we are doing this uh, program with our partners uh, who are uh, um, the world are following the program from the United States of America, United Kingdom, Nigeria, Zimbabwe, and all parts of the world. So let me acknowledge um, um, Her Excellency Arikana Chihombori Kwao, um, who is a former African Union representative to the United States of America. Uh, she is also one of the key partners to uh, this project and the event that we are having here. So, Your Excellency, we are privileged to have you connected with us um, this uh, evening in Ghana and the morning in the United States of America. We are grateful for the uh, partnership, Your Excellency. Uh, we have other members of the African Diaspora uh, Development Institute uh, connecting with us via Zoom and also on Facebook. Uh, I'll take this opportunity to acknowledge all of you. We have about uh, 500 uh, uh, followers who have joined via Zoom, who are all members of this partnership. I cannot acknowledge all of you, so um, forgive me, but we acknowledge um, your presence on um, uh, Zoom online with us this evening. On this note, I'll hand over to um, Rabbi Kohen Halevi, our moderator, to continue the program. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, first and foremost, I would like to um, give all honor, praise, and glory to the Supreme Creator of the Universe, the one by whom we live, move, and have our being, and to the spirit of our great African ancestry, upon whose shoulders we stand, and legacy we continue. Um, with our chair, Oki Baramba, and our Chair Siata, our Vice Chancellor, and all the dignitaries in the hand, Uh, welcome you. This is not the welcome address, but it's just my welcome to all of you who are tuned in. Um, like most of you here, I'm also very anxious to see the rollout of this wonderful vision uh, that I've been most recently been informed of myself and anxious to also hear the details. I've been asked to be your moderator this afternoon, and once this project is uh, targeted to benefit Cape Coast, I didn't see any avenue whereby I would decline the opportunity to lend my support. But I'm also looking forward to hearing the details and the layout of this program today. Now we've had an opening prayer that we're accustomed to, but since this is also something celebrating Africa um, from an African-centered perspective, we want to bring the spirit of Africa in by um, having the pouring of libation, um, the African prayer, as we say. Um, so we want to start with that. All right. So we are going to move forward in the program by asking for the cultural group that is here today um, to be able to give us a cultural uh, performance here or display their gifts that they prepared for this program this afternoon to be able to come forward right now. So let's give a round of applause uh, for those members of the cultural group who are putting on this artistic display.
that nice, nice welcoming uh, performance there. So now we are going to continue with the pouring of libations as mentioned earlier, so that we again start off right by inviting and invoking the spirit of our ancestors. Every <laughs> Omatinasi. No yat in Kanwo. You got many. Got a many in Africa, many. Yes, lay in the Zobe Musu is son, a quam beyond to Tanambia, Pompegumayan. I watched the media, sir. Maybe I will be to do it. If you are very young ones, I saw you more in person. Bye. 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 Now we are officially good to go, literally. So once again, um, as we all know, we are very excited today to be here for this occasion, for this historical occasion. We know that Kipkos is a historical city and it has much tradition. We know that Kipkos, again, as I said, is a historical city and it has much much rich tradition, and we know that now that we are well into the 21st century, um, that we are now embarking upon a new phase of a new legacy, um, of keeping that historical legacy alive. Before we bring our next speaker on and begin to bring our speakers on, I want us all to observe a moment of silence, because today here in Ghana and Africa and the African world, we lost a great giant. The news came to all of us suddenly, and to many of us, um, we're still digesting it. But our former head of state, His Excellency, His Excellency Flight Lieutenant Jerry John Rollins, made his transition and joined the ancestors today. And it's only befitting before this formal program begins with its speakers that we observe a moment of silence. Beloved 
Ambassador, Her Excellency, Eric Connor, Jim Bori Kwao, um, to be able to address us today of the African Diaspora Development Institute, who has partnered in this vision with the Cape Coast with Metropolitan Assembly to bring this vision into fruition. So we will listen to her and to Dr. Taylor and other speakers who are lined up this afternoon to be able to spell out to us very clearly what this vision is about and what this excitement is about and what we're here for the occasion of. So let us all welcome Her Excellency Ambassador Erikana Chiambori Kwao. I can, we can hear, I can hear you, it's faint. We try to get the volume up a little more. All right. We can hear you fine here, Yes. 
we can say the mission is accomplished. We are here to talk about the establishment of the Wakanda city of return in Cape Cod, starting with the very place that our ancestors were taken out of our beloved continent. We could not have found a better place and a more appropriate place to start and build the first Wakanda city of return. We are very grateful to the mayor of uh, Cape Cod, who has allowed us and welcomed us as APGI to come in and join and partner with the city as well as the country of Ghana to realize this dream. To realize a dream that, is, that should have been realized a long time ago. The return of the children of Africa, the, the acknowledgement of the children of Africa, and giving them a home, particularly starting with Ghana. It's a dream that's way past you, but nonetheless, a dream that is now being realized. I am so pleased and honored to welcome all of you to the program that's going to be unveiling what we are calling phase one of the Wakanda City of Return. We count on all of you to, play, to pay close attention to what is going to be said today. There will be follow-up meetings monthly to update you about what is going on and the progress that we are going to be making. This is a city that must be built by the children of Africa, for the children of Africa. We are not going to go begging around the world. We are asking all of you to realize that this is the beginning of turning a new page in the history of Africa. We do not need aid. We are very wealthy people if we come together. This city is demanding that we as black people around the world, we must speak with one voice. We must come together and let the world know once again that only the children of Africa are going to take Africa back to her former glory. Only the children of Africa are going to take Africa back to where we were once, the center of the world. Only the children of Africa are going to take Africa back to where we were the owners. We built the houses we lived in and we owned the brickyard. We sold the clothes we wore and we owned the textile mill. We built we flew in aeroplanes and we built the aeroplanes and we owned the airport. We built the railway lines and we owned the railway lines and we drove the, the, the trains. I am talking about an Africa that is in total control of a economy. That Africa is yet to be built. That Africa is demanding that no more colonization. That Africa is saying the wishes of our Pan-African fathers Starting back to 1963, must be realized. Today, my brothers and sisters, we begin that journey of turning over a new leaf, of building the Africa that we want, of building a sustainable Africa for us, by us. The Wakanda city of return could not have come at a better time. Please allow me and join me in thanking President Anado for giving us this opportunity to continue the journey of healing, the journey of repatriation of our children who have been lost in the wilderness for far too long. Thank you, President Anado. Thank you, Mayor of Cape Coast. Thank you, the King of the Kingdom of Abakase. Thank you, Nana Abakase, and everybody involved in making this event a success. We look forward to continued deliberations and we look forward to seeing you every month as we have Thank you very much for those very inspiring words. As always, it's coming. It's coming. as always, your words are very inspiring. And thank you for sharing with us that vision and the spirit behind it and for reminding us, um, for us, by us, is the champion words that we hear and the words that you shared with us. For us, by us, should be our champion clarion call that we take with us beyond the return. At, at this moment, I would like to also um, call upon our vice chancellor, um, who we were reminded earlier, not the landlord, but the custodian, <laughs> to also be able to um, welcome us here, not just those of us here, of course, in this room, but those of us who are tuned in to us around the world. And again,
Vice Chancellor, um, may you please grace us with your words um, that you prepared for us today. Thank you very much, and may we receive them with a round of applause, too. Very much, uh, this is a very light event. I noticed that I'm the only one who is dressed to sweat. <laughs> Everyone else is dressed for comfort, but I'm dressed to sweat. I have a rope around my neck and sweating. <laughs> and I guess that the culture has to change. Yeah. But part of me, I have my vice chancellor, so I expected to do this. I did expect that most of you would come dress for comfort, but then I still decided to dress for sweat. The culture will change as we go. I have a simple but um, yeah, I think yet very important role this afternoon, and that is to welcome you to this ceremony. And Osama Marima Nana, excuse me. I think that Nana is the after the second. Uh, permit me to stand on the protocol that you have already established. And let me just say that I want to thank the organizers of this ceremony for choosing Cape Coast Technical University for this event. I think this is what has afforded me this opportunity to address this gathering, and I don't take it for uh, granted. I think we gather, as has already been said, to launch the uh, Wakanda City of Return project. It's a project which, when completed, will boost tourism in Cape Coast, and I understand will create about 3,000 jobs for the people in and around the Cape Coast area. But beyond that, it will also provide, I believe, a safe uh, refuge for our brothers and sisters in the diaspora to return to every now and then, and probably also more importantly, to relocate to. I think that things are rather hot in the United States of America, and then you need to have a place that you can come to every now and then, and probably a place that you can return to. It would be good to have our brothers and sisters in the diaspora come back Home. I think that if we put our resources, our strengths, our energies together, we can together develop the continent of, of Africa. I think that this ceremony is historic in all aspects. And I think it's important to pay some tribute to the brains behind the project. I understand that these are one, Her Excellency, who has just spoken, Arena Shikomburikwa who is the founder and president of ADDI. ADDI is the Africa Diaspora Development Institute. And um, there is also Honorable Ernest Afa, who is the mayor of Cape Coast. Dr. Kojo Taylor, who is the chairman of the Wakanda City of Return Project. Nana Obukese Ampa, the chairman of Adipa Africa Investments, and of course, all members of ADDI. We say, are you called to you? And we pray that we will go beyond this launch to actual construction of the city sooner than later. I think that the Year of Return project, and probably to some extent the Black Panther movie, though it was just a movie, but I think these have kind of lit a spark in the lives of many black men and women. And I think we're encouraged to, as we rise up, to our full potential. I think there's a lot that we can do as Africans. We have seen ourselves as subservient to the white man for far too long. We sat in classrooms with the white guys and we beat them. We've done better than them in the classrooms, not in Africa, but outside in the UK and other places. So I think that there, we, we, we do not fall behind them in any way, but it's only that, that we now have to rise up I think that Africa has over the years been a sleeping giant. It is time for us to wake up out of our slumber to be able to take our place in the community of, of nations. And as a President Obama once declared, yes, we can. And I thought we ought to also say to ourselves that yes, we can. We can build a city of, of hope, a city of uh, return. We can transform Ghana. We can transform Africa and turn things around so that the whites would rather prefer to come to us rather than we go to their country. 
As Vice Chancellor of CCT, I think my primary primary responsibility to provide academic and administrative leadership so that my university can provide world-class, high-quality, technical university education. I think a partnership with the City of Return Project will be a major boost to our activities. So I'm looking forward to this, to a fruitful partnership and want to welcome you, all of you, physically, those who are here physically, and those who are joined virtually, to CCTU, uh, Kikos Technical University, where we have an excellent ceremony. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much, Vice Chancellor, for those inspiring words and reminding us, again, the source of this vision, um, being a Black Panther, and reminding us of those powerful words of the former President, um, Barack Hussein Obama, yes, we can. I think when we put together for us, by us, and yes, we can, we're on our way. And um, we certainly can, whatever has been done, can be done. And it reminds us when our ancestors were carried away from here and nothing but their loincloth and chain to something that was a wilderness. And in 400 years, build that wilderness to be one of the most powerful nations in the world, um, the United States of America and the Americas, certainly our return and beyond the return can transform Africa into something beyond our imagination and to the paradise that we would wish that would be in Mother Africa. And it only has to come out of our minds and our committed spirit. And certainly, Wakanda City of Return is a part of that vision. So with that having been said, um, with the visionary and the co-chair of this whole vision, it is also time for us to hear from Dr. Kojo Taylor um, to also share with us um, what he has envisioned in the Wakanda City of Virginia, Cape Coast. So let's, let's welcome him. Uh, good, afternoon. good afternoon and welcome uh, to dignitaries and friends, family in this room. And we also welcome our brothers and sisters and other dignitaries who have joined us around the world to witness this wonderful occasion. We are very proud to be able to present this to you. We think it will take something of this, I, I think, think it will take the vision of someone remarkable, people with remarkable vision, to be able to call together our brothers and sisters in the diaspora to join us to unveil something remarkable to the world. I think one wise man said, part of the joys of life is to be able to invest the peace of our lives into the lives of others. Today, in this room and around the world, you have two of us to invest the peace of our lives into your lives. And we thank you for it. We're very grateful for your time. This project is not a project to be taken lightly. It is the collection of ideas and thinking that has gone into it for several years. When ADDI and Ambassador Arikana decided that they want to build Wakanda Return City, Wakanda One Return City, and starting in Ghana, looking for a place to put it couldn't have chosen a much better place than Cape Coast. I was born and raised here. I'm a native Cape Coaster. And I'm so proud to be the chairman of Wakanda, Wakanda One Return City. And I'm happy to join in this mission to make this vision a reality. I think in Africa, particularly Ghana, we have a proverb that says, 
It takes only one person to kill an elephant for the whole village to enjoy. Whilst I'm not the only one killing the elephant, the collection and collaboration of ADDI as one to kill an elephant for Ghana and the diaspora around the world to enjoy is a great one. I feel so grateful and joy that I'm part of this mission. We'd like to show you what this mission is all about. For us to be able to create Wakanda One Return City, we had to think of building something that people from the diaspora can come home and feel like they're taking a trip of pilgrimage, to come home and feel the spirit revived, to come home and feel that they are in the motherland. Brothers and sisters here, brothers and sisters away, are all joined together. 400 plus years ago, some of them were separated from us. Physically they did, but on Black Accord, never were separated. We're happy all around the world, people joining us, the diaspora. Welcome back home. We have our open arms. And the whole conceptual design and concept is designed to have an open arms to welcome you to join us in the mission as one. We were separated physically, but never was it a time that the umbilical cord was ever cut. Now let me show you what this vision is about. Getting on board here is a PowerPoint presentation that talks about this program. On this on the screen, we will show you bits and pieces of Wakanda One City of Return. What you see in here, we look at Cape Coast itself and said its history as a tourist city could not be measured anywhere in Ghana. And yet when we look at Cape Coast as a place, as a tourist center, the tourism potential it has. And so we thought about creating a project that will allow people to come to Cape Coast for some time, enjoy its spiritual nature, enjoy the entertainment aspect, enjoy its people to the villages, but also enjoy an environment of futuristic events. The project talks about education. Uh, it also has some components of entertainment. It has food. It has hospitality. And on a specific sector of tourism called the heritage tourism. And that's the space we are occupying. When the story of slave trade is told, it couldn't be said better than Cape Coast, where the museums all around the world, where the slave dungeon, some refer to it as slave castle, is. We're creating something within the, the project called the Heritage Walk, 
It's a very interactive way of telling the story of the transatlantic Atlantic slave trade and the culture of the people uh, before the arrival of the Europeans and through uh, their departure to the shores of America. The project has certain components. It really talks about a story. When we talk about building a city, we're not just going to erect buildings and then just leave it. Remember, we're also creating a heritage forest project. We're creating a concept that also talks about the ingenuity we had before the arrival of the Europeans. So we talk about the period before the slave trade. We talk about the arrival of the Europeans. Show the wisdom of Africans, what we had before they came. We talk about the capture of the slaves and the journey to the coast. Life in the castles, the underground experience. Few of us, except our ancestors, only felt the pain. We will be able to try and show this. Onto the slave strip, underground experience will all be depicted in this uh, heritage work. We'll talk about and show Ghana from time of independence. And then we'll talk through up to modern day Ghana. We'll talk about the giants of Africa. The heritage work, if you look at the project as it is, on top of the slide, you see like the shape of various African shields. When we go to war, we have these shields to protect ourselves. Our ancestors truly were warriors. And when you talk about spears and shields and protection, conquering and taking over territories, we have that legacy with pride. So we took the inspiration from all of this to create this concept. So if you look at the bottom there, that is, if you look on the roofs, that's actually the shape of the shield, and it's made with patch. So from this angle, you're looking at the concept line of a village within the Wakanda return city called Ezekampu. As a council, simply means our forefathers who have gone before us. And so we're going to create this heritage work within the Eze Council village and that within the conceptual context of the heritage work. If you look on the left side of it, uh, the heritage work project is there. And then there's a black street a line that goes in between. That's actually a street that separates one side of the street of the uh, project from the other. On the right hand of the street, you will see uh, in front of you, it's uh, the Royal Door of Return. It's actually a five-star hotel. Uh, you see the, the design there, and I'll talk about it a little bit later as we move forward. But you're looking at a five-star hotel. And when we mean five-star, we mean truly five-star. Some of us have had the privilege to travel around the world. We've slept in truly five-star hotels. And whatever you use to your concept of definition of five-star, anywhere in the world, is what you, you will find here in Cape Coast in this project. We've lived with lighthouses. Lighthouse gives us hope to a sailor and as we have lived through the years with this lighthouse, it also gives us an, gave us an inspiration to design a, a lighthouse concept within this project called uh, just to give you a flavor, one section of the Tower of Hope. Uh, uh, so you see the design, the African designs 